How have you seen a person's life be ruined in a single day? When I was in EMT school, we were told about a paramedic student, instructor was a paramedic as well, who observed a stabbing call. They arrive at the bar and see a dude with a knife in his abdomen. Medic student takes lead and pulls the knife out, something you never do as I'm sure you know. Senior medic loses his ducking mind at this dumbass, asking him what the duck he was thinking. Student freaks out, and, you guessed it, puts the ducking knife back in. The patient died as a result, student lost any chance of having a good job, not even just an EMS, and was charged with the death of the patient, might have been manslaughter, I don't remember. His entire life was ruined because he freaked out and made a mistake on a call, not a rookie mistake or a common slip up, but in about half a minute he ruined his life. Not my personal experience, but a national news story. A van full of college students got into an accident, and most of them died, but one girl survived with major injuries. She had facial trauma and was hospitalized for weeks. She kept repeating another girl's name as she was recovering. Turns out, she was saying her own name. She and another similarly built, same hair and eye colored female passenger were mistakenly identified for each other in the aftermath of the crash. Her family had a funeral for her, and the other girl's family were the ones at her bedside before the misidentification was realized. I cannot even imagine the suffering of thinking your daughter was alive for weeks, and then learning she'd been dead all along or having a funeral for a child who was actually alive and you didn't know. Co-worker got caught stealing and got fired. He went home and told his wife, and apparently she had enough and left him and took the kids. Police found him the next morning in the woods deceased. I saw a man's life just crumble in less than 24 hours. Edit, okay for some context. When I say steal. I mean close to $100,000 in precious metals from a cushy federal government job. Edit 2, he was going to be arrested and knew it. Also, he killed himself for everyone asking. My stepdad's life was ruined the day his son slash my brother died. He couldn't cope with the loss, couldn't comprehend the rest of us were hurting just as bad, and turned even deeper into the alcohol and became even more emotionally abusive. Couple years later. When he forced my mom to choose him or me, I watched her make the hardest decision I've probably ever seen her make. She walked away from her husband, the love of her life. Edit, my mother and I no longer have much of a relationship. She made the right choice for the wrong reason. She has point blank told me she regrets having me. My stepdad is, as far as I know, still drunk off his ass and living alone. My mother is alone and living with regrets. As for me. I'm still healing from the scars but mostly doing okay. Edit 2. I am still processing my mother's words. I do not take the blame she tried to place on me. I do not feel that I am a mistake. I know that her feelings slash problems are not my fault. I know I am here for a reason, even if I don't know what it is. A kid I went to school with, and his sister died in a car crash. They were in the car behind the parents car driving the older sister to her first year of college. Parents made a turn and no longer saw the kids car behind them. I would say finding both your kids dead is up there. I was working with a guy, 16, one day when he gets a phone call. His dad, mom, brother and sister had gone to pick up the new family car. His dad took a corner too fast and drove straight into the underside of a bridge. Guy lost his entire family in a split second, and the only reason he wasn't in the car too was because he was at work. We had extended family together for a holiday, and everyone was making jokes about how my cousin was late. His mom and dad were involved in the jokes. Texting him being upset about how he was late and all. Turns out, someone hit him in a head-on collision on his way over and he died on impact. The police knocked on the door to notify the family like a ducking movie. I'll never forget watching the family crumple to the ground. I had a former colleague who was doing his residency in general surgery. He had just started his fifth and final year of training. One day, in the middle of a surgical case, the police show up at the hospital for him. A tech pulled him out of the OR, and he was arrested right there on the spot in front of everybody, still in most of his surgical attire. He had to do the walk of shame through the entire hospital in handcuffs and OR scrubs. 
turns out his ex-wife had gone to the police claiming that he had molested their children. The children testified to this effect as well. All of us were blown away. This was the sweetest, most cheerful guy ever. Nobody thought him capable of something like this. Sure enough it came out several months later that the kids statements were coerced, and that his ex-wife falsified the whole thing. It wasn't the first time she had attempted to screw him over, but it was definitely the most successful. Dude's career and life were ducked. One of my friends was playing online with me when I hear a knock on his door through the mic. His parents walk in and decide to tell him that he is adopted and that they are getting a divorce. All in one go. No emotional breaks or anything, and my friend just breaks down over the mic as his parents walk out. Hey man, I know this is a bad time, but we need heals. On a serious note, I hope he is doing alright. Quite the wombo combo to lay on a kid. I was working in a bank. One day the director fired one of his executives, the whole empty your desk, you are fired speech in front of everyone. The director was furious, and the guy seemed entirely destroyed. Then he explains to all that this guy gave his login and password to a friend in another branch. The friend used that login, and others, while doing some kind of credit card fraud. Police arrested her, but lacked evidence against the fired guy. So they just fired him on the spot. Obviously besides losing his job he was also blacklisted to work in banks or finance. I play poker. I once saw a man on my way in betting about 10,000 all on one roulette spin. He chose red, and lost. He looked defeated. Later that night, a guy at our table told us that he heard the guy on the phone crying in the parking lot trying to explain to his wife that he lost their money. She was screaming and said she wants a divorce. Doing an MRI on a 33 year old healthy man, because he was a bit dizzy, and finding a golf ball tumor in his brain. Read the radiology report, google type of tumor, finding only 5% survive. Edit, I should also say that I do a lot of 30 something year olds who come in for head issues, and almost every single one of them are fine. An 18 year old tried to steal a couple bottles of Hennessy from my store. When I confronted him, he swung the bottle at my head and connected, I rolled with the blow so it didn't do much damage. Charged with assault and robbery by my company. Violent crimes offender, and lost custody of his baby. Edit, guess I should have said the company I work for instead of my company, as I am no owner, lol. A friend of mine got busted in a drug raid and was caught with half a minivan's worth of weed. Most people measure their weed in grams. Some in ounces. A few in pounds. Then there's this dude measuring his in minivans. My neighbor knocked on the front door early one morning. We'd never met. He introduced himself and wanted me to know why there might be a lot of cars parked in front of the house. All three of his children had died in a car accident the night before. One guy I knew found out that he was going to be a father on his graduation night. He was 17, and he looked absolutely destroyed. As a marriage counselor I often see one confession from a partner absolutely ruin their partner's life slash future slash self esteem. It's heartbreaking. Like what? Usually things involving infidelity. It really hits people like a ton of bricks. I knew a guy who, within the same 24 hours, learned that his wife of 7 years was pregnant with someone else's child. His wife was filing for divorce, and she was going to try to get their house to herself because she was the primary signer on their mortgage because his credit wasn't so hot. That was brutal to see. Duck in A. Yep. At least several times a month we had to take care of a family who learned that their child had cancer that day. Pretty terrible life altering news. I spent a lot of time distracting kids with board games slash coloring while their parents were talking to doctors, crying, and then amazingly pulling it together to continue on. When I was about 13, I was talking with my best friend at a playground on a hill. Suddenly this lady comes racing down on her bike. She's not wearing a helmet which was unfortunate because her bike slipped from underneath her and she goes flying, smacks her head into a corner. I was too young to know this at the time, but I'm almost certain she died instantly. Wear a helmet. Watched a mom and her kid on a boat escorted by law enforcement back to the dock. Her boyfriend had gone swimming off the boat. The wind pushed the vessel away from him. 
she didn't know anything about how to turn it on to move it closer. It kept getting farther, he kept swimming harder. He eventually slipped under, and was recovered 80 feet down a few days later. I'll never forget the look on her face. Never. He was a 28 year old airman. Peak health. Wear a live jacket, people. You are not stronger than mother nature. And don't leave a boat without someone who can drive it, safely. I work as a registered nurse in a hospital in Kentucky. A patient came in through the ER raising hell and yelling things like, I want to donate my organs. This place sucks. Duck all of you. Etc etc. He stomped out the front ER entrance and a CNA, nurse's assistant, followed him out to attempt at calming him down. He brandished a .45 and blew his brains out in front of the young assistant. He died. Organs couldn't be harvested. And she is in therapy. Like 7ish years ago, a bunch of the crew chiefs at my guard base were out celebrating one of their own who got his associate's degree. They were all drinking, not a ton, and eventually went home. Except for one guy. He stayed and drank until last call. He decided to drive home. He hit a 20 year old who was on his way to work at about 2 am, and turned him into a paraplegic. Our wing commander basically told him, plead guilty, to the county, and go to jail with an administrative discharge. His family would have been able to keep some of his benefits, like the VA loan and GI bill, or fight it, lose, cost his family tons of money, and get a dishonorable. Dishonorable basically is like you never even served. He plead guilty. Edit, dishonorable like you never served in regards to benefits, any bonuses you received you have to pay back, medals are rescinded. It is also listed on job applications, and people will deny you because of it. I know a dishonorable is like a felony, but to do it is a long process, regardless if he got convicted in civilian criminal court. His discharge was a, hey, you still have two years left in your contract before re-enlistment. So you're just going to resign that right now instead. Also, to the people who think that he got away scot-free, he didn't. He went to jail. Felony DUI and assault with a deadly weapon or something like that. The wing commander only allowed him to do at least one selfless thing and still be able to transfer his GI Bill and VA loan to his family. He also had to pay medical expenses for the kid he hit, and probably other damages as well, so it's not like he got a free pass on that. The first one that pops to mind is one of my co-workers arriving at work sobbing hysterically. It took a while to calm her down to the point where we could understand anything she was saying. I thought she must have been robbed or something, but it turned out she'd just found love letters in her car, from her mother to her husband. All I could think was that, a, if that were me, the last thing I'd do is show up to work and tell everybody, and b, I'd probably drive off a cliff. Or, I don't know, murder my husband? How do you ever recover from that? I mean, if my husband was just having an affair with a chick or another man, I'd just divorce him. But my mother? I could not even. I still think about that. Poor girl. She was such a nice person and did not deserve that. Edit, they were having an affair. It wasn't just that the mom was infatuated and writing to him. When I was 7. My father came home from work and told my mother he wanted a divorce. He grabbed a suitcase and packed some things while my mother alternated between crying, trying to cook dinner for me and my brother, and screaming at him that he was insane. She had no idea where this was coming from, and she would change the locks if he left. He did leave, and she did indeed change the locks the very next day. She went from a homemaker to a single mother the next day, and our standing of living fell immensely. I don't think she ever recovered from the stress of the divorce and trying to raise us on her own. Thinking about what a kind, smart, and wonderful person my mother is, and how my father basically ruined her life when she was only 32 makes me really sad. She just wanted to have kids, and then go back to work when we were both in grade school, so she could be a teacher like she wanted to. But the divorce killed that dream. We became latchkey kids in a bad neighborhood while she had to work in call centers or in hotel housekeeping because being a teacher didn't pay enough or give her enough time off to take care of us. I became a surrogate mother for my baby brother when my mother worked long hours. It was a culture shock, to say the least. <laughs>